Hello everyone. Well, guess what we're having today as a portrait. Okay, now let's see. Starting with the sideways, sides of his face, a, a, a straight line in the middle for his nose. All right. Um, that side plane, which is his right face. Now, eyebrow eyebrows nose now normally these parts are the same so chin to the nose nose to the eyebrow uh, nose to the eyebrow and the eyebrow to the um forehead or actually not the forehead the where the hair meets the, the hairline hairline so so what i'm saying this part on a regular face, which he th I think he does have a regular face. Most faces, basically. One, two is the same as that. And then three, you see? So three parts. They're absolutely the same. So from the, from the chin to the nose, one, two, three. So let's do that then. So... Without even checking or without, I just know on my drawing, this, this one here, to this one, this one, to that one, and to the chin, will have to be the same. Very heavy. So we have one, two, three. And the hairline, as I said. Do you remember? We said that. So these are all, sorry, 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 just kick this, the camera. One two three three parts the same then you have the hairline here and then obviously it's curly then you have his um, V shape as the hair enters the inside there then you have his sideburn here then you have hair coming this way hair 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 now I don't have the end of his hair but I guess or I suppose will have to be somewhere here. So let's darken that. So let's start with the darker dark with the darkest dark, which is his hair. Now guess what? His um, ear, the top of the ear is just above the eyebrow. So the top of the ear is there. That's the same, it's just above the eyebrow here. Ear here. Now, low here is just above above his uh, the bag of under his eye. Say the eye is here, the bag under his eye. So it's I would say somewhere here. I'm talking about the the lobe, the ear lobe. Then you have his jaw, uh, jaw. Yes, jaw. One side. Then this side of the jaw. This is see this part of his face. That line is this one here. Well, actually. This line is not that one, it's the one here. I do see what I mean. So you have a line here, which there's a plane going inwards, and that on this side is from the from this side to his jawline. But we're not doing that because it's that will take uh, it's a lot easier to do this way. So that plane, which is this one here, see, then you have the jaw. Then the chin coming this way, and then the plane that I was saying is this one here. So that, which is this one here, that line, it's that line here. And this is just the outline. And here. Here. And here, here. Bobby's ear and uh, and look at that squint your eyes and you will see a, a shading a half tone which goes something like this so I'm talking about this half tone then squint in your eyes you will see you will see this um, middle tone in the middle here, 
like here. Then squint on your eyes and you will see another very elongated triangular shape. Now guess one thing. Um, get, guess what? No, guess what? Guess what? When we come in down here, now this line, this line here is that line there. But then the tip of the nose is above that. So keep that in mind, okay? That's why the long, uh, the nose is sometimes look longer. It's because we're not taking into account that that area of the nose that I said to you here, so that line is that line here. But then you have this, look at that. We cannot ignore that because this is the tip of the nose. And by doing this, so this line is that line and that line here is the tip of the nose. And then... Um, nostril, huh? of course. Then nostril on this side, but we don't see any point of doing, going dark here because it's all half tone and it's very, very bright. But not to forget, there is a very, very, very shadowy, as uh, you know, half tone all this side. You can see it from all this side is half tone in the whole of the face. So do that. Darken there, and that could come up right up to here to his cheekbones. And the lip. And middle of the lip. Now, that part from the tip of his nose, the end of his nose, the tip of his nose, to the jaw would be almost one third. One, two. Yes, it is one third. Okay, let me see what I'm measuring. So I'm measuring a distance from the tip of his nose, middle of his nose, he's got his lips are a little bit slightly open. So that is one third from here till there. One, two, three parts. Again, let me do that. And you can see it. one, two, it's actually it's more than three parts. So that means that that one third, if it was really one third, that line should be down here. Hmm? So it's a lot higher than that. So let me do it again. It looks like one third, but it's actually less than one third. So it could be, let's say, uh, one fourth, it's not even one fourth, but it's between one third and third and a half. Okay, so let's do it again. Tip of the nose to the lip, one, two, to this point, and then th three. So it's one, th um, it's three parts and a quarter, something like that. Which means, so that will be one, two here, and three. So that's correct. So where I have it now, it's the correct line. And his lower lip, don't forget, the lower lip is mostly, in most cases, uh, thicker than the upper lip. Don't, uh, uh, don't do the opposite, not the upper lip. It's normally the lower lip which is thicker. Then half tone. And then he's got the uh, deep dimple, I think it's called dimple in the middle. That part here, all right? Before we do that, we can create a kind of a, see what I'm doing here, a kind of a half tone here. There we are, for that dimple there. And not forget this, see? That, this side is, it's that plane on the other side, but this side is light. So what I mean, look, this area is brighter than here, not only of the stubble, but also that part of his face is in the shadow. It's a plane that's been lit up by the sun, by the, not the sun, but you know what I mean, by the light, by electric lighting, by projector. So let me 
Let's give that light like this. And let's create this area here and the half tone down here. And also not forget, look, ear. Bring the ear above this ear, um, eyebrow ear and then bring it up here. Then there, the width of the ear. Now the end of the ear, the lobe, is just above his, uh, his um, um, what are those? Nostrils, above the nostrils. So there you are, look. Now what happened with that? I mean, the ear is very, very far away, so I can add a little bit more neck, which we you see, we see more neck on this side, well, a little bit of neck right straight up, but also we know that we see a lot more just by judging by that. So you have a straight line here, and then because he's three quarters, he's actually not facing us fully. So don't uh, make the mistake of bringing his face more towards his left or our right, because otherwise it would be um, facing us, like passport picture. It's three quarters. Hmm? And it's three quarters. We see more of that side, and that's, that's why we see more of the neck, more of the neck. So there we are. And shadow, 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 shadow. The ear is in shadow. Squint in your eyes, and you will see. Is when I measure the the eyebrow, I could, I could bring that so I can keep that line, which goes horizontally on both eyebrows. But then the eyebrows, they it does have that expressive eyebrows, which is moving. You see, there's an angle there. They're not exactly straight down. There's an angle like this. Hmm? Then a, uh, a very dark shadow coming from here. Then the eye is looking straight away, straight um, off the camera. So I can do a little bit of eye design here. The upper eyelid. The eye looking off camera and then the bag under, under the eye which is not very intense it's very young here and then that's that light here hmm? and the shadow of the shadow cast shadow of the nostril onto his face or cheek, let's say, not face, cheek. There you are. That's one eye. We've got one eye. And let's go and get the other one. The upper lip. Now, whilst I'm down here, I'm just touching a little bit of what I'm seeing here. So a little bit of the upper lip here. There you are. And the other eye. First of all, let's get that movement, that expressiveness of his eyelid. He's not angry, so I don't want to make him look angry, because he's not. Now, I need to keep a distance between both eyelids here. There we are. So, further away, further apart. A slightly further apart. Near the eyelid, and then the end of the eyebrow, just move it down, down, the end of the eyebrow, move it down here. No, I think it needs, I need to move further out with the eyebrow here. Further out. And let me see, let me see. Checking from the tear duct, a vertical line down would go to his for, uh, nostril. So a vertical line down from the tear duct will go there. So that means that the eye cannot be there. It should be somewhere here. And what I'm seeing, I see a lot of shadow here at the top, which is this one, this shadow there. Now, 
I need to keep an eye on that line because I went way too far on that side. So bringing the jaw a little bit more into. So keeping that line and pushing the jaw line more towards the left. Sorry, towards the right, my right. And uh, having the hair here. Having the hair there. And where are where are we doing um, that line here, which is the jaw line? I can also introduce with some uh, dust. Okay, I'll show you the dust here. The dust from uh, willow charcoal, and give it give it a little bit of a darker tone here on the side of his uh, lip. Let me have. chin, his cheek, then a little bit of a darker tone. Okay, Terry likes a little bit of brushes, so let's give him a brush. Huh? Use, you can use the brush here. Terry will like that, but you should try it. It's really lovely. It gives a very soft tone, even softer than fingers. Very effective. And also the added bonus is that it doesn't actually create any oily with your fingers, you know, so you, our fingers, they have oil, natural oil on our skin, so that we avoid doing this by adding the brush or just using brush. And dark on his, on his um, ear. Dark lines here. Dark lines here. And dark here. So I could come and you see, introduce a little bit of middle tone. Middle tone is not the darkest tone, it's in between the very dark and the light. And middle tone here. There. See, I'm trying to get. Well, I'm. I'm also looking about his looking to get the likeness as as much as possible. That middle tone here, and middle tone or on the cheek, a bit darker, darker tone on the cheek here. And middle tone here, darker, darker, and then right at the top of his upper lip, getting a little bit darker there, on that side of the nose, which is the shadow, and then middle tone in the middle of the nose, right in the middle. And there is a line, that line here, and it's not vertical. The nose goes slightly, moves that way. You'll check it, you'll check it when you do your own drawing. So there's a line coming this way. Axis, not line, it's an axis. Get rid of that middle line here. And the eye itself. And take the shadow, take the shadow here, and a little bit of background. Again, as I said, it's more rewarding than you would think by working with a brush. You go faster to start with, and you can cover a lot more surface just by using the brush. Any brush, I mean, that brush is nothing special, it's just the brush that I use for the paintings. Obviously, it's dried, don't forget, you can have to dry it up because water and paper is not a good combination. And 
even more so charcoal and water or wet brush. Okay, well I can come back and, and redraw the things that I'm thinking I'm missing here. Let's say, well, what's going on here? Let's see, is that on the same line? Yes, they are. So that eyelid, upper eyelid to the right eyelid. Then you have the other. Mm -hmm. And I said, as I said, the tear duct goes right to the nostril. So you've got, if you go the right nostril here, tear duct just goes there. There we are. And I think maybe move this eye a bit more towards the right. Let me check again. Now keep an eye. On the eyes, keep an eye on the eyes. <laughs> All right, so let's do that. Let's see how far away they are. Tear duct to the end of the eye. One, one, two. Wow, it's just a bit more than one eye. So the distance between the two eyes is normally one more eye in the middle. This one is just, just a tiny bit more. Not a lot more, just a tiny bit more. So let's see, is that the case on me? One, two. No, I need to push that eye further away. See, I had, I felt that. So that eye could go here. There you go. Then the eye, then the eyebrow. And the upper lip, nostril first of all, that dark shadow comes right there, um, a little bit more shadow here, his hair, and not to forget um, sideburn. The year itself is all dark. See? It's all dark. And the lobe, which is again, look at that, just above the nostril. Above the nostril, so it's here. And a little bit of a darker shade here. And keep those, keep those lines a little bit further down. One and the other one here. This line here. There, 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 there. And a little bit of darker line down here. So I'm brightening up this. And also I could come and do the shadow here. Which is the kind of shadow of his head on his, uh, obviously, neck and not forget not to forget his shirt black shirt it's it starts bending from the the altitude of the from the tip of his lip and it starts bending there so you can have that now keep an eye because i'm going too dark that's too dark compared to that see it's not as dark there so i keep an eye on the darks that i'm putting on that's the same goes for you. Now there are two things I can do. Either dark on that less or start increasing the darks here, which is the best thing I could do, and see that that will lose its dark value softly. Will go a lot softer, will appear to be a lot softer. Not forget the nostril, going upwards. Nostril going upwards. One, get an nostril there. You have um, the eyebrow also needs to, needs to be highlighted a bit more here. The eyebrow 
there, a bit darker, a bit darker there, the eye. Now squint in my eyes, then I see that the eye, it's a tiny bit more lighter than the surrounding half tones. And especially it's even lighter this way, look, it's lighter on this side. See on the right. If you see it further away, or if you move the picture and you make it smaller, you can see that it's not as light, that's it. And a tiny highlight on the pupil. There you are. I can play around, make the white of the eye a slightly whiter here. I don't think it's any necessity, but just for the sake of doing what we see in there. The upper, the upper eyelid and look at that light reflected light on your steer duct which is right here and a little bit of that a little bit of this a little bit of that now on the forehead you have that highlight which is I'm talking about this one and also the worry lines. There are some. One is here. And one is up here. Okay, okay. All right, so how are we doing here on this side? Mm, I would say a little bit brighter would be better. Brighter here. See on that area? Half tone. His jaw is a bit more powerful. Bring it down a bit more. Jaw. And getting straight back with the charcoal. Before you fix the line of the jaw, you better do this. You just go many, many, many times until you get the hang of it, until you get the, the line, that if it's correct or not. So I did do that many, many times until I get it. Then, then you press it, then you press it. So you can go like this many, many times. You see what I mean? And then one of those lines will be the correct one. So you go like this. Hmm? On one of them. Or could be two of them joined together like this. So I've done many lines, many lines, many lines, many lines like this. And then one of them will be correct. So you, you just stroke. On the ones which looks closest to what you have in front of you and also getting highlight on the neck a bit more a bit more highlights on the neck i said neck and i went to the lip okay sorry about that there you are And neck here, and a little bit more stretch the light on this side of his face. Do you see that? That's something I haven't explored enough. So let's go there and see what's going on there. Because that line is very steep, it just goes. It, it, it's very close to the edge of the of the pad or you can say that the picture if you print it or the pad so this is the frame so that's very close this side and it goes further away the the lower you go the further you are from the pad so let's get that line in line let's get that line in line that line here which is this one then you have the ear, top of the ear, the lobe, lower down, and then it comes right on the lower part of the lobe here. The ear lobe. And the, as I said, straight line here. And a little bit off. Again, jawline. Jawline, and I think 
now is the time to soften this because it's going to be too harsh so that line here it's a bit harsh so let's soften that a bit more see use the brush sideways so not the tip of the brush on the tip sideways oh what is focusing there like this and I keep the brush like this. You see how I keep it? Like this. Four fingers, one here. So keep the brush like that. Mm. There you go. Softly, softly, softly keep. Soft on that area. And take some dust, charcoal dust, and move it the right here. As I said, I'm going back and forth with the brush because those areas are very delicate and very soft. Just don't want to use any fingers here. Uh, just to get the eye, the, the you know the uh, under the eye, uh, the bag under the eye, and a little bit of darks here. Half tone. There we are. And use or bring into being a little bit more of the white of the eye on the right hand side. Sorry, left hand side here. Here, here, here. A bit more of the white of the eye. And that will give me a little bit more room to explore and extend the eyelid. And it's something like this. The eyelid goes right there. And the upper eye. That's the upper eyelid, obviously. I've got the lower eyelid here. Being very careful, as I said, that's very, very delicate. Very soft line. Forgot to say the name of the actor. Is that Jude Law? I think is that's the one. Yes, I forgot to say the name of the actor, but you know who it is, so there's no point of. And a line right down here. It's got a very sharp edge there. Now let me bring the camera a little bit more towards. the actual portrait so you can see what's going on closer maybe that will help even more so you see it a little bit less distorted this way now the eye I need to keep the, an eye I need to keep an eye on this eye first of all let's see if this eye it's enough away from the tip of the, um, the nostril look and it is so vertical line from here, down, 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 it's away from the nostril. Keep an eye on that. If that's the case, it should be the case. If it's not, then you have something to fix there. So a vertical line moves away from the nostril. Um, now on that side is the same thing. The pupil moves, it's again away from the nostril. And that is something that we need to keep an eye here. And not to forget, highlight on his pupil there. A little bit of highlight on the pupil there. There we are, okay. Now he's looking a little bit of a, uh, very young there. So to make him a little bit older than that. His curl here. Hairline, not to get any lower with the hairline. I think it's good where it is. Now, very dark on the hair here. And a darker shape or a darker tone. And that could, I could get away with that dark tone right up here now. And soft on this. From the hair to the skin tone. Um, G 
getting the um, cheek a little bit further away and giving him I would say a little bit wider lips let's say look at that vertical line from the eye from the end of the eye or the beginning that rounded bit it's straight to the end of his lip um, not there so that is straight from the end of his lip so his lip could go as far back as this one here there and I keep it where it is on this side so he's more extended on that side on the left on his left or our right and then his lower lip is really more fleshy than that and the with a uh, with the brush get some dust and let's start doing that half tone on the upper lip there and shadow okay uh, yes it's dark on the on the philtrum and dark on the darker lip on the lower lip so dark on the philtrum squint your eyes and you'll see that it's slightly darker than what i have it on the on the philtrum which is this area here and darker on the lower lip here And you have Maybe you want to go out? Go, go. Go, go, go. Good boy. Okay, Milo doesn't know where he wants to do it. What he wants. What he wants to do. A little bit sharp in my charcoal. A little sharper that's good now again I think I've gone too close with that hair here you see so let's bring that hair further back move it towards the left better that way it's a lot more accurate to start with we don't need the hair right and his forehead not to forget he's blonde so his hair is not too dark um, uh, let's move that further away so that area comes right onto this angle so that line just goes there just moves inside there and then you have the hair coming through that way then the hair is curled and a lot more mm -hmm. now i'm not i don't know what's above or how the hair turns up to be there but i guess it's something like this i'm not getting involved too much with that because i don't see what's going on there that's the picture sorry that's the picture that it comes on the internet but no idea how that ends up there uh, just making it up really a bit more rounded further that beautiful highlight at the top that he's got here where where and one and then uh, here, lines here, lines here, and a bit more of a flesh tone. And a bit more cheekbone here soften that a bit more that area and i can bring back that beautiful highlight here but i not with line not with um, charcoal i can use the putty rubber here 
So look at this. So we're using charcoal. You can easily do it with putty wrapper. And that plane, which is now that part here, up to this point, up to this point, as I said, is that part on the other side, on the right side. Okay, back again. Let it dry a little bit. So, as I said, I don't want to be too overly dark with this. And then using the uh, contemporary. It's a pencil which is easily you can get darks very quickly with this one. And it's a pencil we've used many, many times in our lessons. So it just give those darks back to where it's needed. Let's say the hair more than anything. It's the darkest dark where you can easily be and place it as dark as you would like. Also the hair on the sides here. Using a contemporary on the top of, as you saw, willow charcoal. Not the other way around. Not willow charcoal on top of Conte. It doesn't work. So I need to keep also an eye here not to go too dark with the Conte. the contour there, a little bit darker, also coming around here on the eyebrows, emphasizing that a bit more, and uh, possibly using another brush here, softer, and then get those darts that I've just done with the contour, moving them a bit. There, they're just making it a bit darker here. And the eyebrow, so the eyelid. Yeah, a bit darker. Making the top of the eyelid a little bit darker. Side of the eyelid a little bit that's upper eyelid the upper eyelid emphasize that a bit more and also coming right down here mm, dropping the brush with a lot of bit of dust from the Conte now, not from the Willow Charcoal, dust from the Conte Apparel. So I'll take that and press it and move it and spread it this side. And a bit darker, a bit darker here, a bit darker. darker here as well. Quite a few shades darker. Emphasize this part of his cheekbone underneath his back under the eye. Back under the eye oh. here. We're getting darks from the Contemporary, 
this time and give him a, li a little bit of an open mouth he's almost trying to speak as you can see in the picture on the original picture and then dark tone coming around here darker tone underneath his lower lip and the Conte pencil I'm using the brush constantly it's not of much use the pencil here because I don't want to go too dark with those brush strokes that I'm doing now that suggests also a little bit of a stubble here not being shaved Having a bit of hair on his facial hair here and then underneath of his neck just giving that underneath of his neck a bit darker here darker coming up with the brush and there Now, I'm, again, I'm overdoing it. I'm going a little bit darker than I would have normally gone here. But later on, I'm hoping, well, I know that I can get a little bit brighter there with the putty. So I know for a fact that we can get slightly brighter there. But then, like with everything, you have to be careful not to overdo it or not to go too dark with it. The more Conte Apari dust here on the ear. And let me try and see with a stump from now on how easy that will be to be spread all over here. See, stump work. And get that plane a little bit darker. The plane of his face here a little bit darker. Here we are. And again, give him a little bit more of a width here on his. Part of his jaw and chin. Chin. Chin a bit darker. Darker here. And yeah, that little highlight here, right? Half tone, half tone. The middle of his nose. are the darkest darks you can add now take dip it on contemporary dust and then get those highlights on his hair a bit more
darker tones, as much dark as I can. Stacks as possible. And highlight tip of his um, my lid and eyebrow and of course re emphasize this dark. my brush I might be able to soften that a bit more but still they've got to be where they are those darks brush stroke And now with putty rubber, let's see what the product putty rubber could do here. Uh, we sprayed it early on, so let's take a little bit of that on his face, get that highlight here on his cheeks. A bit brighter to bring his cheeks towards us a bit more. Uh, that is that went way too bright so I'll soften it back to where it was bring that highlight here that's important a triangular shape emphasize it a bit more highlight on the top of his chin Um, lower lip highlight of the lower lip highlight on the forehead here a bit brighter a bit brighter also here and cut that previous line that I've done here, although it might be difficult to get rid of it now, but that's good enough. And get the highlights here. To bring his face onto more of a <laughs> bring that angle a bit of an angular shape here later. There we are. Here. And highlight. Darker lines. As I said, he's got very expressive eyes and the pupil is really large. That needs to be emphasized. Don't forget that. His pupil is quite large, quite ex I wouldn't say excessive large because there are some pupils which are large by nature so I think that's one of the cases of those cases give it a darker tone to the eye together with the white of the eye there we better see it's not about the white of the eye is to darken and give it a tone of value which is darker here and that continues on the back under the eye continues down here as well there we are 
And that's the highlight on this people. That's it. And the upper eyelid. Upper eyelid. Tip of the nose. And I could highlight that. Uh, worry line that he's got there. A bit, a bit lighter here. That does it good. It's a good thing to add more. A bit more of a worry line here. Move it on. Because he's blonde, I'm thinking of I can highlight a little bit further, a further highlight on the above the eyebrows. Create that, you know, blonde hair here as much as possible. And the hair. I think I could get away with doing a little bit more of a, yes, it's a sharper line here, because it's too, too oval on me, so it's more of a straight line. More of that and less of an oval line. There you are. More of a jaw, let's put it this way. And let's put the whole thing a bit higher because I'm going and getting tired having it so low. Let's put it up a little bit more. That's much better. I can see more. I can see more now. And stump. Take the stump. Start seeing how much dark I do have accumulated on the stump and then start and use it onto the paper actually. Putty, clear that area a bit more, up a bit more. There, there. Adam's apple here. Now I would, I would, with another brush, with your brush, that's my charcoal brush, but the willow charcoal brush. brush. <laughs> Add some dust here. Now why I'm using the willow charcoal dust? Because the dust from the Conte Paris will be way too dark. And a little bit darker. A little bit darker here. You can play around with that. So you see a mixture of charcoal dust, willow charcoal dust and a um, little charcoal and contemporary. Again, playing around with these features, sorry for that, features here. Giving him a bit more of a, again, those worry lines, emphasizing a bit more. Willow 
and charcoal dust. What happened? Why are they going so dark? No idea. Those two lines are a little bit like, okay, I need to get rid of those. Those two, you see those two? I, I, I don't know why they happen to be or why the charcoal concentrated itself there. It's always a risk when you combine two different materials together. Willow charcoal and contemporary. A bit wider here. Mm -hmm. I'll get rid of this little line here. It looks like a scar. We don't want that. We don't need that. Emphasize his bag under the eye. A little of a line, but very, very softly. Don't overdo it because then he doesn't have it as much. And secondly, it's not that important. Just a tiny detail. Okay. All right. I lose those. That line here could be very softly put on there. I probably don't even need to emphasize that at all. Something like this. But I could get away with emphasizing this more. Uh, this side. Neck. That gives a 3D effect here and makes the head pop. that that make makes the head move forward and also highlight the top of his ear Conte dust let me come down here Conte apari dust and just coming around the background and moving and incorporating that dark line onto the background. I think that also creates a very nice 3D effect here. Would be nice to have it slightly organized this shadow here. Hmm? And those darks here as well. You lose that line. You don't need that line. That line here doesn't have to be a, a line which goes right from one side to the other. So you can lose it and make it and mix it up together. Lower line. Give his mouth a bit more thickness here. It makes it a little bit more voluptuous, a bit more uh, emphasizes the mouth a bit more. Um, he's got the lips are slightly open, which is good. It is there, and highlight on the lip, the cracks that we have on the lips. And a bit more up here on his dimple here. There you are. And possibly, possibly, 
lower. Um, let's emphasize the eyebrow here. As I, as I said, he's blonde, so that eyebrow is very, very soft. And a little bit of white of the eye. Just a tiny bit more. I don't want to overdo it. And then that line is important. A tiny emphasis on that line makes the eye a bit bigger. And squinting my eyes, I can see that that part of the eye, the the highlight, or the eye, it's been highlighted from the from underneath, which is you have a little bit more light here. You have light coming from underneath, and it's highlighting that plane, which is it appears to be as light as that, as light as this area. Those two areas appears to be appear to be in value, the same tonal value, and also a little bit brighter here. I think I brightened that too much. I'll come back to it, fix it up again. And here as well. Highlight here, highlights, and possibly coming back with Conte à Paris. No, with the willow charcoal dust. Pushing it back a little bit more, a bit darker then. Okay, I mean, uh, what can we do more? Uh, willow charcoal, willow charcoal, bring it back onto here. I think I could unify those areas a bit more there. Oh, I don't know, as I said, we don't see what's happening at the back. And I should, that shouldn't stop us to experiment. Force the portrait. And why not come around here? and be a bit more courageous here on this side. Oh. See background? Move the hair onto the background, bring the background right onto his um, skin tone. And possibly moving that bringing and then leaving it ambiguous about the hair, where the hair ends, where the hair starts. I think that's courageous, but it's not a wise decision. I think I need to go a little bit soft on that and connect, kind of connect those areas with each other there. And also that it's a little bit exaggerated, as I said. It's good, but it's a bit exaggerated. It's overly exaggerated. I do like exaggeration, but that was a little bit more than over the top. Highlight on the hair here. A bit more highlight again. A bit more highlight here on the hair. Again, leave it open to interpretations. Some of it. Highlight 
here as well. Highlight over here. A bit more, a bit more here. There you have it. And then a little bit brighter here. Where his forehead is. And then bring that lower. Just extend that brightness. Because that's the brightest part of his face here. It's where the light illuminates it here. A bit more than anywhere else. Okay. Okay. And softer cheekbone. I don't need that darkness here. And also soft, 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 soft. that creates a more of a regular cheekbone here and also keep that a little bit on a highlight here okay, a bit more rounded with willow charcoal should I emphasize the mold he's got here well, why not? He's got a mole here, look. Right here. Right here. Milo, sit. Sit, not again. Come and sit. Go, come in, come in. Come, sit. Probably didn't need to do that, but I don't know. If you want to be descriptive, that's one of the ways. Okay, why not soften that a bit more? Kind of hmm, this way. There we are. And hello. Highlight, as I said, underneath of his eye. And slightly a bit more of a darker tonal value. Here, look. And let's get rid of this line here, which was left. I cannot get rid of it because I've sprayed it. Well, leave it there, it doesn't matter. Bit darker, more consistent, not lighter, not darker, lighter, more consistent. On those lights, consistent, consistency. And here we are. Sorry about that. Again, here, a little bit more highlight, a little bit more of a highlight here. And a little bit more highlight on his hair. Again, get the bulk of the highlight less on my brush. The less, the better in this case. I want a very little touch of darks here. That uh, area needs to be kept light <laughs> because that's where it, it gets too bright. There you are. Okay. There, there, there. And here, bright here. And 
this one. And softer, softer height. Softer tone of value there. And let's get rid of that, those lines on the lip. They're very dark, very, very dark there. There. Softer and softer the top the top lip compared to the lower lip. And get rid of this as well, and that's the last thing to do here. I think it's good enough. Amplify the mold a bit more. And highlight a bit more here, give him a bit more chin, more of a rounded chin. And what I've left to do is the last bit will be get with a putty stump, get those lines here. No, so those, sorry, is the, the ear darker, darker, darker. And here as well. Just to re-emphasize the ear. And also getting that a bit less dark. You see adjusting how much how many darks you're putting on. Is it too much, too little? It's it's a case of research and you know trial and error. Just put it on and see how dark that is compared to the rest of the features. Top of the ear. Get it here. Get it around here. Get the ear around there. And there. A bit thicker neck. Thicker neck. And the neck could come around here. Right here. line gets blurred as it moves down and gets a little bit more heavy here heavier uh, right here right here it gets too heavy oh god that was too dark anyway i mean i'll leave it because i think it's good enough but i can associated with some more darks around here and that will make it not as dark you see suddenly that does look as dark and get that get that his shirt there and highlight here a bit more on the shirt there you are Okay, I think it's good enough. Uh, let me see, squint in my eyes. What can we check on there? On the original. A bit further away. Yes, I know I've increased the darks here very, very. Come, come in, come in, come, 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 come. come. I know I've gone too dark here, and I know that. But I've done it on purpose. But maybe, maybe I should just give it a, a quick a wash. And, and here, I could brighten up the nose a bit more just by doing that. Look. Do you see? That could okay now he wants to go out. Go. Go. You're not listening to me. Go. Go. You're done. No, only five more minutes. And highlight here, look. And then highlight here. Highlight the way. Highlight the nostril. Bit more. There we are. And 
maybe with a putty, with a stump, with my brush. Just move those darks here, look. Those darks there. There. There, 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 there. Okay, that's good enough. I'll see you on the next one. Uh, oh my. Pencil drop again. Oh God. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Look, half of it broke. Half is broken. What's the date today? 24th. See you on the next one. Bye bye. Just notice it. Wow, what's happening? Where's the button? Yes. Yes, the eyes are a bit dark. It's a bit too dark. So look. It's a bit less dark. That's better. Right, see you on the next one.